why enter this competition? So I never really grew up in this particular world, in the pageant world is kind of what a lot of people consider it. And so it's kind of a whim. Someone told me they recommended that I participate in it, and I kind of just thought, why not? So I decided originally a week before a competition to compete. And that was back in 2018 was when I first, 2019 I guess actually, is when I first competed. And then this past year I competed again with a little bit more notice, I had about a month when I decided to compete again. And I learned so much the first time I competed, I really had a good time, I felt like I grew a lot and I gained a lot of confidence in myself. So I decided why not just do it again. You're getting ready for the big competition, obviously it's going to be a lot different than what you dealt with here in Wyoming. And I'm sure you've met some of the other competitors already, but what can you expect? I'm just really looking forward to going and having a good time. Yes, I have met all the other girls before, twice. Actually, I've been very fortunate in that aspect. And they're great. They're genuine. They're nice. They're beautiful. They're super intelligent. And so I'm excited to continue to build that relationship with them. And then also, I'm just excited to grow more with the competition because I'm not a person who grew up on the stage or performing in front of other people. So I'm looking forward to just expanding in that area and honestly gaining more confidence. What do you think in the Wyoming competition? Not that I'm saying that the other competition wasn't all that great and all whatnot. I mean, I'm sure they were, they were equally just as good. What do you think it was that maybe got you over? I think that it was, I was just really real. And if I had this stereotype, well, this feeling that if you don't want me for who I am and if you don't think what I'm saying is good enough, then I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to win anyway. So I was just trying to be as true to myself as I possibly could be. So in other words, you know, for others who may want to go along your route or for other competitions, it's, it's not necessarily be the person they want you to be. It's you be yourself. Yes, 100%. I think that you're the most confident when you're truly being yourself and that's when your beauty really shines. The competition nationally, what all are you going to have to go through? So I arrive about a week before competition, and so we have a couple pre-things that we have to do, and then we have two nights of preliminaries, and then we get two nights off, and because Miss America is celebrating 100 years, we have a few activities thrown in with us, and then we have our final night of competition on December 16th. What kind of questions maybe do you think they're going to be asking you, the judges, I should say? I hope that they really focus on my social impact statement, which is Kids Unplugged, because that's something I'm really passionate about, and I think that's how I'm going to excel at being Miss America. That's how I feel most confident being Miss Wyoming. And so I'm hoping that's something that they really focus on so that I can really showcase to them how passionate I am about it. I was actually out there for orientation in September, so I've already had a little bit of a sneak peek of what Connecticut is like, which is where Miss America is now held. So we did a little bit more of the tourist side then when we visited. So I think right now we're mainly going to be focused on being at Mohegan Sun, which is who's hosting the Miss America competition. So I think that's kind of where we're going to be at the most. So I'm kind of excited to explore there because I didn't have the opportunity because we did so much in Connecticut itself. When you meet with the other girls and other competitors and they ask you, oh, Wyoming, what's that all about? You know, what, what, what kind of questions do you get and how do you answer them? Every once in a while I get one about, do we ride horses to school? Which, yes, we do have horses, but we don't ride them to school. Well, some people might, I guess. I never did. But they kind of just want to know what is our state like? And is it really as big as they say it is? Is it smaller? What kind of animals do we have here? It's totally different than being on the coast or a lot of other states. I think we're really fortunate in the aspect that Wyoming is the most beautiful state. So I just try to showcase to them and really inform them that it really is a hidden gem. For those who are thinking about going along, along your line, you know, entering whether it's this competition or, or others, uh, what, what's the best piece of advice you can give uh, future pageant winners? I would just really encourage them to be as prepared as possible. And even though you might never have competed in something like this, if you know what you're saying and you believe what you believe and you're confident in yourself, that's what's going to help you shine and make you be the best competitor that you can be. Presented by Jill Bates and the Best Team. For all your real estate needs, contact Best Real Estate, 675-2378. That's 675-BEST.